Welcome to another behind the scenes tour here at the Lake Superior Railroad Museum at the St. Louis County Depot in beautiful downtown Duluth. We're taking you on tours, showing you things that you can see when you come and visit us. And the best way to come and visit us is as a member, a proud member of the Lake Superior Railroad Museum. Because once you're a member, you can come as often as you like for free. And you get our Junction Magazine published four times a year and a lot of other perks just for members of the museum. And the most important thing is you get the satisfaction of knowing you're supporting what USA Today voted as the best transportation museum in America. All you have to do is go online to lsrm.org slash memberships. It's all there for you. And please be generous when you join up. You get to come to the museum and see exhibits, well, kind of like this one here. It's very interesting. All you have to do is start it. And then it's the last day of the incline from 1939. Duluth's Incline Railway was built in 1891. It ran up 7th Avenue West from Superior Street to Duluth Heights as part of a real estate development. Downtown waterfront property was already pretty scarce in the city, but there was plenty of room at the top of the hill. The developer just needed a way to get people up there. The incline was 509 feet long with two sets of tracks going up a 15 to 25 percent grade. It was steam powered and the ride took 16 minutes, but oh, what a view. At the track's pinnacle, there was a grand pavilion designed by famous Duluth architect, Oliver Trophagen. The massive structure hosted weddings, community celebrations, and all kinds of events. But a fire in the powerhouse on May 28, 1901 burned the structure to the ground. The 27 ton trolley car at the top of the incline burst into flame. Without power, it started to roll downhill. By the time the burning car reached Superior Street, it was out of control and smashed through the barrier and careened across Michigan Street and landed still burning in the railway yard behind this depot. Luckily, there were no injuries. Ridership on Duluth's Incline Railway had its ups and downs. Mostly down once cars and buses could safely navigate Duluth's famous hillside. Such a massive structure left its remnants even to this day. You can walk up 7th Avenue West, which is a street but really isn't, Along your hike, there are concrete pilings and leftover metal hiding in the weeds. At Hilltop Park, there are still giant formations of concrete that were part of the pavilion and powerhouse. At the foot of the hill, just a block up from where you're standing right now, is the Incline Bar Restaurant and Bowling Alley, a tribute to the city's famous funicular, the Duluth Incline Railway. One more of the exhibits you can see as a member of the Lake Superior Railroad Museum or as one of our guests. We're open seven days a week at the St. Louis County Depot here in downtown Duluth. And tune in again because we'll be issuing more and more of these video tours just for you. And when you do see them, like them and share them, that helps us a lot. In the meantime, as always, let's take care of each other.